Hello to Newcastle. It seems by the streets you have been overlooked and I'm here to apologise to Macaloon, to Matthew Hendo, to Robertson Stew, J Clark 86, Oxley 75, Matt Piers, Simon Wallace, Hayley Davison, Matty Jury and Tiger Taylor. After a lengthy conversation with my management, we are going to do everything possible to be all up in your city next February. It will mean that I don't get a day off in nine days, but that is how I roll. I read another tweet this weekend from a girl who I can't remember the name of, but she asked me, if I had a time machine, where in time would I like to travel? After some thinking, I came to the conclusion that the Edwardian era would be most favorable for me to experience the years 1901 onwards. The lost golden age, all the more radiant because it was on the other side of the huge black pit of war. The turbulence, the ebullience and the wind in the willows. The suffrage and selfridges. Charles Chaplin and Arthur Stanley Jefferson and all the hats and canes. It's not officially Edwardian, but the very concept of time travel was invented six years before Queen Victoria's death in 1895 by H.G. Wells in his book, The Time Machine. H.G. Wells went on to support the popular science of the time, eugenics, which later became ethnic cleansing. So it's goodbye to Newcastle and sorry from me. And if I do make it to your town, I'll be sure to party with Andy Carroll and Kevin Nolan.